Sony confirms Nix's purchase will aid future PC ports. Here comes the crying and this will devalue my console. Cry babies. That's exactly what it does though. Exclusives are highly pro consumer. And the reason to buy a console, it maintains a healthy competition in the industry and drives further research and development. If you really think a monopoly is good for gaming, then please leave. <laughs> right, so now PC gamers can part their games. <laughs> no reason to have a PlayStation anymore. <laughs> Unless you want to enjoy multiplayer games without people cheating all day just to piss people off as a hobby. But seeing how things are going, crossplay will be a standard. And console players will have to deal with these losers. <laughs> Good for PC players who get to enjoy more games. Win win. They already had that option. Being entitled and thinking you deserve every game ever made on your platform is bad for gaming. Sony's trying to kill the PlayStation. If it comes out as a PC, who buys a PlayStation? Um, this is bad. This will dilute the value of our exclusives. This is anti consumer because we buy your PlayStation hardware and you port the PC full of pirates. This will mean the exclusive will be worth less. Shame on you, Sony! Dear PlayStation Hardcore fans, an exclusive for the PlayStation 5 does not disappear if someone else gets to enjoy it on another platform. It is good for the community. Dear another k gamer, exclusives becoming multi-plat are bad for the consumer in the long run. Exclusives are highly pro-consumer and keep healthy competition for gamers just because Xbox went third party and hasn't had an exclusive since they the thing doesn't mean we should see it forever. Sony, please notice me. Do you have to apply it? Will it be worth me buying a PlayStation 6 in the future then, Sony? If I can just buy a PC and play all the PlayStation exclusives and Xbox exclusives on a 10 in the future, hopefully Days Gone will sell nothing on PC and Sony will forget about PlayStation time and money and doing PC for <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely pathetic. Nintendo, here we come. Woohoo! Stupid move by Sony. Herman and Jim Ryan putting all the exclusives out on PC. Seems like it. Bring back Jack and Sean. What up, son? Hell yeah, brother. Bad move. But I guess greed is stronger than logic. If they keep doing this, people will just wait to buy the game on PC and not get a PlayStation 5. I'm really curious to see how many Xbox Series X will be sold because there is really no reason to get one. I'm such a smart ass. Look at me, Sony. <sighs> Can your PlayStation is starting to get increasingly more and more worthless. <sighs> But why? It's not like Sony is the mullah. It will only divide the PlayStation 5. Don't you get it, Sony? I'm smarter than your financial advisors. And don't like it at all. Keep Sony on studio games on PlayStation only. Want to play them? Then buy a PlayStation just like the rest of us. It's that simple. I find it highly distasteful that apparently the only motive behind this is increasing their profits. Never mind the two and a half a day. Sony has spent building up their brand with numerous franchises that people associate with PlayStation. Never mind, this entire generation has proven for them that the best way to stay ahead and shoulders above the competition is having titles that can be played anywhere else, which is the reason why Microsoft floundered so much this gen. Never mind how much this actively screws over PlayStation fan base who only end up receiving the inferior versions of Sony's own games. Yeah, I guess all of that just can't get it in the way of more money, can it, Sony? Huh? Almost makes me wonder why they didn't start doing this last gen, back when the PlayStation 3 was a total financial failure for them, and their exclusives were nearly as successful as they are now. I guess Sony simply valued the PlayStation brand more back than they do now! <laughs> Uh, Nintendo keep their IP on their own console? Seems to work well for them. I'm sure they make even more money if they release Zelda and Mario games on other platforms. But up to this point, this doesn't even interest them. So they make enough money. It's not if it's a choice between releasing their exclusives on PC or going bankrupt, is it? I don't care about other gamers. If you're rich enough to afford all platforms, then great. But I suspect most don't. And choose one or two over the other options. If this is where Sony are 
already did so bits, but I'm not a fan. I'm definitely not salty, Sony. I'm definitely not salty, Sony. <laughs> PC players have enough fun with this as a dude as it is. The last thing they need are console games coming to them. If Sony gives PC their exclusives, then interesting PlayStation will handle. <laughs> yep, this is the only reason to acquire them. Let's be real. It's absolutely unbelievable to imagine Sony buying a studio not for the benefit of PlayStation, but for the total benefit of the PC community. Yet that's where we are. Because remember, PlayStation gamers do not benefit from these PC ports in any way. And there is only potential disappointment or frustration in it for us. It unfortunately seems that Sony has now become far too comfortable with throwing their existing users under the bus as they chase out the PC community. Video game history. EA. Sports games to games as a service and now back to single player games and games as a service. Ubisoft. Great games to copy and paste up and order to games as a service. PlayStation. Great games. Great games. Great games. Nintendo. Great games. Wii. Kitty games. Xbox. No games. Do no games. Do no games. <laughs> Steam Deck reservations are now open. Choose your deck in the Steam Store. Learn more about Steam Deck, Valve's new powerful handheld all-in-one gaming PC. All these PC gamers hyping the Steam whatever is funny and hypocritical for so many reasons. <laughs> I thought portability didn't matter. I thought that playing on a controller was horrible. <laughs> Checkmate, PC gamers! How are you gonna destroy that, huh? <laughs> Steam feeling so hard, so this is how they want to try and keep a monopoly, huh? Valve is a joke, it will never march like a sunny! <laughs> If you aren't into PC gaming, a Steam Deck would be a good way to have access to PC games without having to get a full rig. It shows how desperate Valve is becoming. Looks like Epic Games is taking Steam down. <laughs> PC gaming is irrelevant. All you use for a PC is to make games for us real gamers. <laughs> you can't recover from that one. <laughs> PC elites and Xbox fans get triggered even by mentioning PlayStation 5. <laughs> I already unfollowed Xbox news because I am done arguing daily with Xbox. <laughs> Xbox Series X and PlayStation 5's GPU differences are not that significant, says developer. Series S is a mistake. We'll hold the generation. It runs Flight Simulator 2020, the most technically advanced next gen game on the market without any struggles. Your point doesn't make any sense. That the FPS with no ray tracing. Most technically advanced. <laughs> Look at my Photoshop skills, Sony. Rockstar proved it can freshen one of PlayStation's greatest games with the new console's technology. We can expect the enhanced D5 to deliver faster loads, ray trace streets, 4K textures, 3D audio, and new tactile ways to use the sense. It wasn't even GTA 5, it was modded GTA 4. Cause PC could not be fun. That's going to be for the PlayStation 5. Cause a fully scoring easy SSD. Did you just say the PlayStation 5 is more powerful than a PC? Like, I love my consoles dedicated for games, but PC? Less powerful than a PlayStation 5? We doing gymnastics over here? Fuck the fuck! Jack Burke and PC are holding a PlayStation 5 back. Jesus is to blow PC and Xbox and you only buy games and do Game Pass. Filthy fake gamers. PlayStation is the benchmark of the gaming industry. Xbox is nowhere near close to it. That makes me so happy and full of joy to know that Xbox can't reach PlayStation. Ah, oh, Sony, notice me. Notice me, Sony. Notice me. <laughs> I'm sorry, but PC gamers are nothing but a bunch of simps and <laughs> Truth hurts sometimes, but needs to be said. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> they just buy games, benchmark it, and ask for refunds. <laughs> Total losers. <laughs> Wait a moment. People are seriously defending Doki Doki Literature Club Plus's censorship on PlayStation? Yes, Sony do what he they need to do. We don't need harmful content on the platform. This is not PC. We'll delete any old trash on. What a trash argument is this? Sorry, just made facts. We're not PC games and let any old, harmful, or sexist content on it. If that's what you really want then, maybe you should do to the PC power trace. <laughs> Got him. And be a fake gamer. Sony is about high quality.
money. Not a low bro crap. You found an Xbox or PC. Where the fake gamers like yourself at? Who need that low bro sexist crap on the platform? <laughs> sexist? Just like The Last of Us 2 then? That's... Art. So, anime games are too then? I don't know if you know, but Sony censored the part that should have contributed into making the horror experience of the game. No, they're sexist. Something for loner gamer boys to jack off to. Do you even know Doki Doki Literature Club? Yeah, something lonely gamer boys will jack off to. And sexist as fuck. Maybe play it before talking, no? Who would I want to play a sexist game with sexist characters in? The game is free on Steam. Please play it before talking shit about it. Why would I even want to Steam account? Ew. I will not Dirty myself with such a thing, bleh! That space reboot seems to be next gen only. Man, busy people, most of them do not have specs like PlayStation 5. Also, Series S is gonna hold back a bit. Most of the PC Master Race will be watching Low Spec Gamers Guide on how to make it run on their weak potato PCs. <laughs> Or hear me out, they can just upgrade to the required specs like they have been doing for decades now, no? That's the beauty of PC, no generations, no one left behind. You get one version to work with your hardware without having to buy upgrades or deluxe editions. Oh wow, what a convenient idea! <laughs> the beauty of PC to keep throwing money on expensive parts, huh? while console gamers enjoy constant experience throughout the gen after one time investment. <laughs> My PlayStation 5 slash Xbox is just a paperweight to be honest. Alright, well, you eat it for buying it to be honest. And exactly. I also think the same way with PC players when they buy a $3,000 plus PC just to play 3 to 6 games, with two of them being free to play Battle Royale games. <laughs> Is 120 FPS not enough? It's not like you're noticing much of a difference after that. Losers. <laughs> the real reason the SSD drive on PlayStation 5 is not unlocked is because the motherboard was designed wrong to compensate for the heat it produces. You say it's unacceptable for the to be a solution to this, yet it's acceptable for Microsoft to release a next gen system with no games. Haha, <laughs> don't forget about that. <laughs> That's a stupid X bot conspiracy theory. Yes, the SSD part is coming in an update soon, people. I don't know why Xbox fanboys make it such a big deal. PlayStation 5 is outselling Xbox 3 to 1. This is business fake news. Shall be out when they are out, just like 30 seconds, like it's cheap and material shortages causing a delay. <laughs> Stop spreading misinformation and worry about the lockdown. Next gen games are black spots. That's a way more pressing issue than SSD exclusive business app. Sony Interactive Entertainment, PlayStation Product Division, Yasuhiro Otori, PlayStation 5 Expansion Bay. There are two exhaust holes for SSD slot for expansion. Since the expansion slot is near the intake fan, it has a structure that sucks heat from the exhaust hole with negative pressure. Then how come no SSD to put in there yet? Only excuses now is laziness. Lemao, they don't need it as much as Xbox so desperately does. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't expect that one. <laughs> it's okay to criticize Sony without making it about Xbox. Cause 99.99% .99 of those who criticize Sony are Xbox and PC players. Wow, that is quite the echo chamber you hide there. People shouldn't be upset that a company is being criticized when they fuck up. Xbox didn't have a games a launch and Sony is being slow on the SSD expansion. Call him out. Don't blame another company. Just a dumb criticism. <laughs> Nothing stopping you from playing games. <laughs> PlayStation has just unveiled the five most played games on the PlayStation Now PC between March and June 2021. Out of five games, there are four PlayStation Studios games. Looks like PC gamers quite like PlayStation Studios. Because there are no PC exclusives worth a damn. <laughs> just a bunch of cuck simulators, unoptimized multiplats, and a no saturation of indie games. <laughs> Hey, looks like PC got Last of Us Part 2 this week. Wait, what? PC gamers spending $5,000 on PC parts just to play another free-to-play Battle Royale. Ho, 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 ho. PC players are full of virgins that spend $3,000 plus for a better graphics slash FPS, which you won't know much of a difference from 120 FPS. Just for them to buy and play 3-7 games, then call every console player broke. Making fun of PlayStation fanboys is really the matter on YouTube right now. Yes, it brings in all the X, but we'll have nothing to buy. <laughs> they can't find for less than in YouTube to make fun of a bunny. The <laughs> I guess it's what you do when you buy a $500 console with no games. While ponies are out there playing their amazing exclusive games. x are on YouTube talking about ponies and their games. Talk about being salty. 
Sony, where's my attachment? Where's my retweet? Sony, ah!